Yes, winter's coming. Uh, a reminder that we should get our antenna work underway and finished. Uh, one or two inquiries I've had, I suppose, over the past year actually is antenna traps, and more particularly, what is the loss in an antenna trap? Well, let's just take a quick look at an antenna trap. An antenna trap is a tuned circuit. At resonance, it blocks off any energy passing through it. So if we put that trap in the, an element of an antenna, at a certain frequency, it will trap it off, so only part of the antenna is operational. At other frequencies, it allows energy to go through, so we can then use a larger part of the antenna element. The trap does provide a little bit of inductive loading, but that we don't have to worry about that now, because we're just going to talk about the trap itself and how effective it is, or more to the point, how efficient is it? Well, you know, an antenna trap loses less than 1 dB, around about half a dB or just over half a dB. That's that's the typical loss you get with an antenna trap. Now 1 dB of energy, or 1 dB of change in energy rather, is the smallest perceptible change that you can detect. So anything less than 1 dB on its own, less than 1 dB loss is nothing to worry about at all. You can't detect it. But it's rather important, actually, that that loss can rise. Now, here's something that perhaps a lot of you don't know. If you're producing your own antenna trap, you want to avoid it being tuned to the resonant frequency that you want it to be tuned to. That sounds a bit crazy, doesn't it? Surely, if you're going to tune an antenna trap to say you want to block off 14 megahertz, Put a portion of the antenna you want to block off 14 megahertz. Well, surely you resonate it to 14 megahertz, or perhaps right in the center of the band, say 14.175 or thereabouts. Well, it will work, but there's a problem. An antenna trap tuned bang on frequency actually produces a loss. A loss of over, over 1 dB, about 1.5 dB. So the conventional advice on antenna traps is to tune them just either lower or higher than the band. Yeah. So if you want a 14 megahertz trap for operation, perhaps you'd be better off tuning it to 13.5 or 14.8 megahertz. Interesting thought, isn't it? So, if you're going to man manufacture your own traps, make make your own traps. Make sure that they're not resonant, bang on the frequency you want to operate. Because if you do, you'll increase the loss at that particular frequency. It doesn't have any effect on other bands when the energy is passing through. But at resonance, that can produce a loss of about one and a half dB, which is significant. Now there's an interesting article about that and I'll put a link below uh, this video. It's an interesting web article that you can read up for yourself and you'll, you'll see more about it. But it's a simple tip and if you purchase an antenna trap, if it's correctly adjusted, you'll find it's not quite on frequency. It's off frequency. And I remember back in the, oh many years ago now, we sold some traps, some Hari traps. We do Hari traps. If you check on our website, you'll find that we sell Hari traps, ready-made traps in pairs. And somebody sent them back saying that they were off frequency. Well, they were off frequency. They were off frequency for a reason. When you produce or when you manufacture a trap, you make sure that it's not dead on frequency. It's slightly off frequency. That reduces the losses. It still works just as well because uh, most antenna traps um, particularly the ones using coaxial and so forth are, are not particularly high Q anyway. So there we are, a bit of advice. When you make a trap of your own design, make sure that it's not dead on frequency, it's off frequency slightly, that reduces the losses. And if you've got manufactured traps, you can bet your bottom dollar that if they're properly made, the loss in the trap is less than 1 dB. So there we are. Perhaps that allays a bit of concern about trap losses, and perhaps it gives you a bit of advice on something maybe you didn't know. There we are.
short video. Thanks for watching. You take care. Don't forget down at Portsmouth, we've got some great deals on there. Pick up the telephone if you want a deal, particularly if you've got part exchange. We'll be happy to help you out. In the meantime, enjoy your ham radio, and as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.